morning you guys it's Karen and today I thought I would show you how I've been using the Niod skincare so I did that haul of all the Niod skincare I got and I thought it would be great if I could incorporate it all into a routine and try it all kind of at the same time so apart from a couple of items I'm using pretty much all Niod. Okay let's start with the morning routine um, obviously I use my micellar water maybe not obviously but I use my micellar water as a kind of toner cleanser whatever in the morning that's just what I run over my face to make it feel fresh to get any res residue off etc and then move on to the routine so the first thing I'm doing in the morning is using a little bit of the fractionated eye contour concentrate um, after that I'm using the copper amino isolate serum now I'm only using this on my face because I did start off using it on my neck and I had a real breakout I suppose you could say a big rash come up and my neck didn't look good at all so my neck did not like this one little bit so I'm just sticking to using it to my face and my face seems to be absolutely fine with it so I put that all over avoiding the eyes where I've already put my fractionated eye concentrate um, after that I am using currently the Lucura um, vitamin C serum this is the one I'm using up if you like um, but the reason I'm able to use this vitamin C because I don't think you could probably use a normal ascorbic acid with this is this is not ascorbic acid it is um, ethyl ascorbic acid I may recommend not to use it but honestly I don't think there's any issues then I'm simply following that with my SPF and this is the one I'm using at the moment this is the Verst Guards Up 15% um, zinc oxide I'm trying to look for the SPF 35 um, so I follow with that and really nice my skin still feels hydrated even though um, you know I've used just a zinc oxide and the copper amino isolate that was my concern that I might feel my skin might feel a little bit tight but it doesn't feel tight at all then in the evening um, oh I've forgotten to bring through my low viscosity cleaning ester but I am using that to take off my makeup then my micellar water and then again I start with the fractionated eye contour concentrate so put that around my eyes um, and I'm then using the superoxide dismutase saccharide mist so just giving a spray of that over my face and neck um, and then I'm using the MMHC and I think that is a really nice combination to use this first because obviously this is a lot water um, and then putting the MMHC on top of it it's really good to use a water to have damp skin underneath a hyaluronic acid so that works really really well together um, I follow that with the non-acid acid precursor which when you actually feel how thin the serums are or you know the, the MMHC is thinner than this nap it does make sense but I was thinking this would be one that I would use first and then use say the spray and the MMHC but actually when you look on the website the recommendation is to use this one after the MMHC so interesting but um so I'm doing it that way at the moment and I am using this on my face and neck and having no issues whatsoever I haven't got any peeling or anything happening with my skin I just I feel like my skin is very sort of healthy and rosy at the moment I have to say it's what I've noticed a couple of mornings is my cheeks look healthy like with that little sort of red tinge if you know what I mean um, but not an irritated red just to sort of healthy and then I'm finishing with the hydration vaccine I told you guys I don't like this um, pot but you can see that it's all at the end because I sit it like that in my makeup bag and then what I'll do is I kind of tap out some you can see it coming out there I'm going to take it out because I don't want to put it back in again now um, and then I just use whatever I've got out you know I'm, I've kind of got to the point where I know exactly how much to get out um, and that's me done that's me done my evening routine so I will use all of these up and perhaps come back and do a niod empties I think that's probably useful for you and talk about you know how everything's working there are the two other things that I will use just here and there so well the high um, voicemail mask I will use that if my skin starts to feel dry at all I will use that so that's something I've been using for quite some time um, the lip the bio lipid lip serum is it that is really interesting um, that is working almost too well on me and I haven't yet figured out how to use it because I do I suppose I should use it at the end of my makeup uh, at the end of my cleansing routine morning and evening that you can use it twice a day you're supposed to use it twice a day every day at the start um, but I find that I would need to put the tiniest drop on and put it on my lips and it, even then it makes everything around my mouth go bright red it does sort of make my lips feel quite swollen I suppose you could say but not like noticeably so um, 
but then it, I certainly can't do it before cleansing because if I use anything around my mouth area, then it sort of moves it around. And it, you know, I've had it like make my, my my face red up here, and I need to go and immediately wash my hands and take that bit off. You know, um, so I've been trying different ways of using it. I've left it in the bathroom now so that I can just put a drop on um, on days where I'm not wearing any lipstick, and then immediately wash my hands, and then there's nothing else needs to be disturbed. You know, but I I will say that I have noticed. I did notice the, the first day after wearing it, I thought, I feel like my lips look quite big. I took a picture, a couple of pictures for Instagram, you know, just normal selfie pictures. And I thought my bottom lip in particular, which is bigger than my top lip, I thought actually looks quite big. It looks like I've had filler or something. I haven't, I absolutely haven't. So I need to kind of keep on using that and then I'll do a video um, reviewing that on its own. So that's everything today. I thought it would be interesting for you to see how I put that all together into a routine. Um, let me know how you're getting on with your Nyod skincare because I know a lot of you went and bought different things um, and I would love to know how you feel about them. Um, although I do worry, I think, oh God, I hope nobody doesn't like them, you know, after me saying how much I like them. Because I um, recommended to my friend the Dyson, you know, the, the Dyson dupe that straightens your hair. Well, I think it straightens your hair. It's supposed to be for flyaways, um, but she's not got on with it. She said she didn't find it, do, it did anything at all. And I always feel terrible when that happens, you know. Um, but anyway, let me know. Let me know how you're getting on with your Naya skincare that you bought in November. Hopefully you got the November discount. I'll list all of my makeup in the description and I'll speak to you again soon.